What's up, everybody? It's Amir with I Really Can Cook, episode 15 of I Really Can Cook in my Be A Nice Human shirt that my friend got me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I know. I know you like it. Well, in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how I make brioche bread grilled cheese sandwiches. And I'm going to be using, uh, here we go, Sara Lee Artisano brioche bread. Pretty fancy, right? Yep. I'm going to be using some... Uh, Vermont Cabot cheese, extra sharp cheddar, the good stuff, no more struggle slices for me, using good cheese from now on. And lastly, I'm gonna butter my bread with this stuff, Lando Lakes butter, the good stuff. This process should take me all of about, what, five minutes? First thing I'm gonna do is light up my cast iron griddle medium to low fire, don't need it super hot. And while my griddle is heating up, I'm gonna use my fancy cheese knife to start making some slices of my fancy cheese, or fancy to me, since I'm coming from the slices. You know, but, eh, what is it? This channel's all about upgrading and making things better, right? And every time I'm over here slicing up some cheese, who comes around thinking they're gonna get a slice? Penny, why? Cause she does, good girl. After I've sliced up my cheese, I'm gonna put some butter on the griddle. It's much easier to butter up the griddle than it is to try to put butter on the uh, bread, right? Because it always causes the bread to uh, rip and tear. So, butter up the griddle, put your brioche on there. Oh, look at that, all fancy and stuff. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and spread my cheese. A couple of slices of cheese never hurt nobody, especially when it's good cheese, like this Vermont cheese. This cabbage cheese is good stuff. I think I like Kerrygold cheese a little bit better, but my local grocer doesn't have any. So I'm gonna have to go find one that does and get some of that. It's pricey, but man, is it good. It is absolutely worth it. Oh, that's gonna be hot, hot. Oh, there we go. Got that last slice of cheese. One more piece of cheese for Penny. Yeah, good girl. There you go, one more. Good girl, okay. Well, not gonna be using that hand until I wash it, so don't worry, guys. Then, gonna take my other slice of bread, put it on top, let it get nice and toasty there, and while that's heating up, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put more butter on this side of the griddle, so when I flip it, it'll just land on the butter side, and I don't have to worry about ripping up my bread by trying to butter it while it's cold. It doesn't take long to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put butter on this side right here, because it's just about ready to flip. That's good enough. Then, gonna take my trusty spatula, see if I can do this. Here we go, real time. Ah, oh, it worked. Oh, and look at that golden brown. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I'm gonna let that sit there for about another two or three minutes. Get my eat on. And while I'm waiting on my sandwich to get nice and toasty, gonna use my simple dipping sauce of Hunt's ketchup and Tapatio. Just a little bit of ketchup right there. There we go, there we go. And tapatio, ah, the perfect mix for the perfect sandwich. Gonna take my cheese knife, cut my nice, perfectly toasted sandwich in half. Oh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh man, that looks good. Oh, it looks good, and it tastes better than it looks. So, without further ado, a couple of dips. Oh man, <laughs> this is good stuff. Hold on. Oh, I want you guys to enjoy this with me. This is Ahmed, what I really can cook, and this is how I make my grilled cheese sandwich with brioche bread. Too good, too good. I hope you try it, I hope you enjoy it.